Hello, Frugal Shortcut Mom here, coming to you with a Dollar Tree haul. With this last week, last few days, and uh, a day last week, and a couple different stores, one close to me, and one I had to drive about 20 miles to. And here are some items that we got, some coupon items. I've hauled these before. I had some 50 cent off one internet printable coupons from coupons.com that I had to use up before they expire, so I was able to get those for 50 cents each. And then they've got some parchment paper, nothing extreme or really fancy, but 25 feet for a dollar. And then I had another coupon left for a dollar off any Glad item. So I picked up some snack bags, could always use those to separate snacks for lunches. And then for some food items, here are some pasta, but this is from Myers. Oops. Meyer Gold. Farfell for a dollar. So I'm beginning to see some more like either name brand items at my Dollar Tree or from other stores at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And then here, little hot chocolate, little K-cups, you get four capsules. Something to try because some of my kids will like that. And here, which I saw, is Jack Link's barbecue beef jerky. And they might have gotten rid of this because it was barbecue flavored and it's not really summertime anymore barbecue season, but these were the three ounce, so you can see that, three ounce size, and they were a dollar. I know there's coupons for those every once in a while, and there's sales here and there, but not as low as a dollar. Case in point, I shop at another store, like a closeout store called Ollie's, and I had just gotten here this for my boys a couple weeks ago. And this was $2.49. And this is for pork, so I know it's going to be cheaper than the beef jerky. That was 3.25 ounces. But that just in comparison, I thought $2.49 was a good price compared to like $3.79 or more. But for a dollar, I only saw three of them there, so I snagged all of those. And got the hot chocolate. And then also, got these little... Um, toddler books, God Made series, and there was a God Made Animals, God Made Colors, God Made Seasons, and God Made Earth. And they're really cute. And I got all four of them. And it has a note on the back here, Toddlers See God's Role in Their Everyday Lives Through Simple Concepts and Recognizable Images and this collection designed to help foster spiritual development. So I was thinking of making up like little busy bags for toddlers and that at church when there's no nursery. So they have something to keep their hands and their minds busy. But rather than just coloring something, have something that puts their mind on God. Because we're in church, we want to study about God. So I thought that would be a cute start for a little books. And then here's some other name brand items. And there's this really nice from Sunset Outdoor Design and Build Container Gardening Book. Fresh Ideas for Outdoor Living. And they give you step-by-step -step instructions, projects to suit any location. And there is very nice colors put together. And that's for a dollar. And here is the retail price. $19.95. Can you believe that? You might have to hunt high and low. But for a dollar, I thought that might make a nice gift for someone that likes to do some gardening. And then, speaking of high and low, sometimes you find unexpected items. And this was a Hallmark item. It's called Suddenly Flowers, a paper bouquet. 
and it just looks like it was at first glance like a little decorative box that they had and then I saw that was Hallmark and do 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 wait for it wait for it boom oops sorry knocked that over and it's like a little flower bouquet that pops out and it has your little sentiment for all the wonderful things you do but most of all for just being you so that would actually go nice as a card for maybe like this a gift for someone but since I sprung the other thing away that had the price on it these were priced originally retail for fourteen dollars and ninety five cents at Dollar Tree it was a dollar so I got one of those and then I want to go move locations here and I'll be right back moving on with my Dollar Tree haul I changed locations so I can get a better look at these smaller items and as you know when you've got the washi style tape that comes in I know it's not Christmas season yet but they've got all their Christmas stuff they're getting out in tandem with all their Halloween stuff so here's one you grab them while you can because if you go back they're usually going to be gone here's one of them Merry Christmas excuse me and here's another one these are all the Christmas version and then they give you a little sample in front there but there's also um, says do not open until Christmas on there so that's very cute Ooh. Noel and also and it has on it Mary Noel Got that. and then let's see there was like a sock fall festive um, I like the candy corn but with what it's made of I'm trying to eat more healthy now and I figure hey this is the next best thing no candy corn I always like these little holiday socks and this was for adults 9 to 11 now they also had kid sizes too so they should be all out in force at your local Dollar Tree and let's see got one like nail sticker item this is from Sassy and, Sassy and Chic little nail stickers and here is the real like the boat festive style but I thought that was cute has a little glitter to it. I got one of those. And then here's Nivea, the lip butter, raspberry, and the little tins. Either for a stocking stuffer or something like that for a teenage girl. Got one of those. Thought I'd try it. And since it's allergy cold season, um, this is perfect because we've all got cold now. One of these little natural inhalers. It helps the nasal passage to feel fresher, quick action. And it's a natural blend of essential oils with refreshing vapors. So for a dollar, we try that out. And then there is these rhinestone sheets that these sheets include over 500 gems and this was not at my local Dollar Tree and they didn't have anything like this there but this one had like green and red so that's Christmas festive and then I picked up one that like multicolor so all kinds of different colors and they had some clear ones too but I figured I'd just try those two because you get over 500. Now they did have another set of like rhinestone things that only had that just had one solid color in it that had 300 that were by the stickers. These were not by the stickers. These ones were by another aisle where they had the books in that. So you just have to go hunting to see what you can find and look high and low. There's those. And then I 
saw these little cute ones. They come 44 to a pack. They're called pop-up, I guess, stickers. Little owls. And you see they're kind of glittery. And they're not too puffy or anything, but they do have like a little poof to it. I just thought that were kind of cute. So I picked up one sheet of those. And then I found a stylus, a pen with stylus. And you see, notice the print on that? It goes with the Fox stickers. It just matches them correctly. And I figured either I could save this for a nice little stocking stuffer gift for someone or keep it for myself if I lose my styluses because they always seem to be disappearing. And then now for some makeup items. They have a, um, a whole slew of like e.l.f. products coming in. And this one is the Mineral Eyeshadow Primer for the e.l.f. brand. And this is just the sheer, sheer primer. And another item. Got the e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. And this was in... The Hunter Green. So I figure I like the green for this season. The color I like to add to my wardrobe. And here are a couple lip items. Here's for lip stain. A nice size. And this is called the Cherry Balm. Let's see. Can I see that? And one more item, lips, also jumbo lip gloss stick. And if you can see, it's got like a little sparkle to it, it's a little frosty. And that is called Flirty and Girly, long wearing tinted lip color. And for a dollar without coupons or anything, I figure that's an easy way to like spruce up the fall wardrobe with some different color lip colors. And one thing I keep in mind, I know I see other hauls that I might not necessarily find things that other people do and someone else might not find might not find what I do, but I keep this in mind. It's in Hebrews 13:5. Let your conversation be without covetousness, covetousness. <laughs> excuse me, and be content with such things as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. And I find that comforting that I might not find something that I really could use or really like or want. But I will be content with what God has uh, blessed me with. So if you found this video um, <coughs> helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Happy shopping!